Hi friends. So today we're going to be reading another nonfiction text passage and this one is called Arbor Day. So again, we are going to read this nonfiction text passage and you are going to fill in your three, two, one Google slide. So while I'm reading this, you're going to be on the lookout for three facts that you learn about Arbor Day. You're going to be on the lookout for two nonfiction text features that are in this article. And then you are going to write down one wondering you have about the article. So let's go ahead and get started. Arbor Day is a holiday to plant and care for trees. Trees are important. They give us oxygen. Trees also give food and shelter to living things. Arbor Day happens all around the world. The first Arbor Day was in Spain. There was a big festival. It began with planting a tree. Afterwards, there was a large feast. The first Arbor Day in America was on April 10th, 1872. One million trees were planted in Nebraska. Birdsey Northrop spread the tradition of Arbor Day across the world. He brought his holiday to Japan in 1883. Soon after, he spread Arbor Day to Australia, Canada, and Europe. Today, Arbor Day is celebrated in many countries. In Belgium, International Day of Tree Planting is celebrated on March 21st. In Brazil, Arbor Day is on September 21st. School children plant trees and help the environment. In China, March 12th is Arbor Day. Every Chinese citizen is expected to plant three to five trees each year. It is important to remember the importance of trees every day. Celebrate Arbor Day by planting trees in your community. Wow, I learned so many great facts about Arbor Day that I didn't even know. So now I am going to go through and I am going to look at all of my nonfiction text features that I have in this article. The very first one that catches my eye is this one right here. I want you guys to think, what is this nonfiction text feature called? We've seen this one a lot. What is this called? This is a photograph. And a lot of the time when you see a photograph in a nonfiction text passage, you are also going to see another nonfiction text passage, a caption. This caption says Arbor Day in Korea. That tells me that this photograph was taken in Korea on Arbor Day. Another nonfiction text feature I see is this one right here. This is a graph or a table. This graph is about Arbor Day tree planting in California in the year 2011. So while I'm looking at my graph, I see something down here called a key. It tells me that for every tree you see, that's the same as 10 trees. So if I look up here and look at all the different tree types, I can read this graph and figure out how many of each type of tree was planted in California. For example, I see 10, 20, 30, 40 oak trees that were planted on Arbor Day in 2011. There were 10, 15 ash trees planted in 2011 on Arbor Day in the state of California. I see 10, 20, 30 maple trees were planted in California on Arbor Day in 2011. And for elm trees, I see 10, 20, 25. Now, for these ones, I only see half a tree. That means only half as much were planted. So instead of saying 10 trees, this would actually be five trees. That's why this one's 25 and this one's 15. So this table showed me a lot of information about Arbor Day, that special Arbor Day in California in 2011. That's a whole lot of trees. The last nonfiction text feature I see right here is a timeline. We saw this in our Booker T. Washington passage. So if we're looking at this timeline, there's a lot of big jumps here. We start at the year 1800. We jump to the year 1850. Then we jump again to the year 1900. We jump to 1950. We jump to 2000. And then it jumps all the way to 2050, which hasn't happened yet. So let's see some of these important events. Just after 1800, we see the first Arbor Day in Spain is celebrated in the year 1805. I'm going to keep going along my timeline. And right in between 1850 and 1900, I see April 10th, 1872. This is when the first Arbor Day in America happened and was celebrated. Next, 
we're gonna move on a little and we're gonna to get to 1883. And this is when Birdsey brought Arbor Day to Japan. Remember, Birdsey was the man who brought it to America as well. So he started the first American Arbor Day and then he brought it to Japan with him. We're gonna keep going and the next very important event that happens is in 1972, the Arbor Day Foundation formed for the 100th anniversary. So there's a whole foundation dedicated to celebrating Arbor Day and raising money for it. Next on our timeline, we're gonna keep chugging along and in 2001, the oak tree is voted America's national tree. Wow, that's a really cool fact. So I'm looking at my passage and I see one, two, three, four nonfiction text features. So I see a photograph, a caption, a table or a chart, and I see a timeline. Now remember, your job is to listen to this as many times as you need to so that you can name three facts about Arbor Day. You can identify two different nonfiction text features from this passage. And I would love to read one wondering you have about Arbor Day. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye.